What's going on guys? We have an interesting video for you today. So I'm about to hitch up to our 14-foot uh, Texas Pride utility low boy trailer. This thing is super, super awesome. And we're going to take off up to Rockport, Texas to pick up something for my wife. Now, she's been wanting this something for quite a while, and I'm not going to disguise it too long. She wants a golf cart. And we shopped for some new ones, and the prices of golf carts have just gotten insanely high, just crazy high. So we decided to look for pre-owned units. And, you know, we had a golf cart a while back. You guys might even remember, if you've been watching the channel for a while, we had a little gas-powered easy-go golf cart. And at the time, we paid like $6,500 for it. It was super up upfitted with all sorts of crazy upgrades, had a bunch of stuff done to it. Um, the challenge with it, though, is it wasn't mechanical in the greatest condition and it, it required a lot of upkeep to keep it really going this one's going to be battery powered so my wife wants something nice and quiet something she can get around with something she can take our daughter down to the mailbox with pick up packages go visit the neighbors something like that and we found a really really cool unit so we're going to go pick it up hopefully it's in the condition that we were told it said it's supposed to be completely refurbished new batteries new tires new wheels lift kit all that stuff so we're going to hitch up take off over there and see what it's all about Okay, we are all hitched up. Everything looks really good. Got my flashers on, making sure that they're working well. This thing is absolutely a phenomenal trailer and love using it. It just comes in so handy and it's so low to the ground. It's easy to get into. It's got these awesome three by three squared tubed rails going around the outside of it so you can secure things down really well, not have to worry about stuff shifting and moving off. Very cool trailer. Well, we're gonna hit the road. Here it is. All packed up, ready to go. We'll talk more about it when we get it back to the property. So here it is. So again, the reason why we got this was because my wife and my daughter wanted a really convenient means of getting around the property. Sometimes packages get dropped off and they need to go out to the front to get it. And it's about a 400 foot walk, which isn't too bad unless it's raining or unless it's just super, super hot. But, you know, a lot of folks with acreage like to have something to cruise around with. We didn't really have a need for something like a Polaris or a UTV since I have the tractor and other equipment. Plus, I can haul around Herman, the little uh, utility cart that we have. So we were shopping for a golf cart and you know, I told my wife she could really have any golf cart she wanted. So we went and looked at some generic brands. I think one was called like Revolution. It was a lithium ion uh, unit. I don't specifically know what the power output was, but it was pre-owned. And uh, the pre-owned price on it was, I think, $10,500. Um, and it was the same configuration. So two up front, two in the back. And, uh, you know, it had a cool little gauge up front with the screen on it and all of this stuff. It ran a lithium ion battery inside of it as well. So it was really cool from that standpoint. But then I found out you can get brand new ones for about the same price. If you wanted to go with EasyGo or a, a higher end brand like Club Car, you were gonna pay anywhere between about 16.5 and 17.5 for something very similar to this, just brand new. So we actually went to one of the golf cart stores locally and we, uh, we looked at one and we were very, very close to getting it. I told my wife, if you want it, this is what we'll get. I wanted her to feel comfortable. We looked at gas powered units as well, but my wife really didn't like how loud they were, how they vibrated. I know that a lot of the, the golf carts, you know, are really quiet and they only turn on when you hit the gas. Like I said in the past, we had an easy go six seater golf cart, which basically had two rows up front and one in the back. And we used it for a while. It was a little bit longer, a little bit larger than we wanted. Um, and it took up a little bit more room. So something like this is perfect for her. But again, we looked at those golf carts. We looked at gas powered ones and a brand new gas powered one was like 13.5. Again, we found some generic ones that were closer to that thousand dollar mark. And if you went for one that was completely stripped down, you could get them for about $9,000. So we started looking around other classifieds to see what was available. And we found this one in Rockport, Texas, which is about an hour away from us. And you know, it had a really cool description. It said it was completely refurbished, brand new, pretty much from the ground up in terms of, you know, making it look new, making it function new and replacing everything on it. Um, it's a 2006 EasyGo TXT. Uh, it's a golf cart, it has a four inch lift on it. And when I contacted the seller, um, first of all, he was very polite, very pleasant, and he said, yeah, we pretty much bought this thing as a stripped-down chassis, just a frame. We built this up as a project for college, and it was him and his brother. So, um, you know, I asked him, I said, what, what things should we look out for when we get there? We don't want to drive an hour just to find out that it's something we don't like. And he said, well, you know, in reality, again, it's a 2006, so there are some components that we had to, you know, replace, but everything pretty much on this golf cart has been replaced. It's pretty much in immaculate condition, especially considering it's a 
2006 model. So he was asking $5,500. He said the lowest he was willing to go was $52.50. And, uh, you know, I, I packed the wife and kid up and we headed over to Rockport so we could pick it up if it was in the condition that he claimed it was. And obviously it was. So I'm going to walk around it real quick and just kind of show you what's going on with this specific unit. Now, this is not a lithium ion unit, which means this is running batteries. And it's got six batteries in here. And it's a 36 volt golf cart. So the batteries are brand new. They just replaced them last month or just installed them last month. They just finished this project actually. New seat, new seats all around actually. It has a new back seat right here as well. Flips down into a little utility bed. It's got all of this has been replaced. The only piece back here that wasn't in perfect condition was this, which is the back bumper area. And I've already ordered one of those, $24 on eBay. All new leaf springs, all new front suspension, all new shocks. Has very, very bright LED headlights and tail lights. It is ready to go if I wanted to add a turn signal to it. He has the wires ran there, but they're not connected. If you want to add a turn signal, seat belts, the little marker on the back, all that stuff, you can actually make these street legal in some, some areas. Very, very nice plastic cover up top. Has a new front windshield. New carbon fiber type steering wheel. The floor in it is in really great shape. It's just really great. I mean, honestly, this turned out to be a very, very good purchase. Again, LED lights in the back. That is a little tarp. And this thing will eventually live in the garage once we get the new shop built. But this is what it looks like. And because it's electric, it's virtually silent. You just don't really hear it at all. Very cool though. But yeah, we uh, we feel we got a pretty good good deal out of it. You know, golf carts are one of those things that have gone up insanely in price. Just very, very expensive to get into. If you can get one with brand new batteries in really good shape, you know, I think you're in pretty good shape overall. This thing only goes about 15 miles an hour, which is perfectly fine for my wife. I don't even think she goes that fast on it. She was having a ball last night when we got home with it and, you know, had the lights on going up and down the driveway and just really enjoying it. But yeah, this is uh, this is what we got. New wheels, brand new tires. Again, this thing has pretty much been completely restored. I know it's an older model, but if this was an older model in bad condition, then we definitely wouldn't have got it. But just considering the condition it's in, this thing is really, really nice. I mean, very happy with our purchase. So far, we haven't had any issues with it. I mean, we've only had it for, we've only had it for overnight pretty much. We just picked it up last night and drove it home and it was too dark to do much with it except for take it on a couple little trips. Um, the one thing I would like to figure out how to do is move this seat assembly this way a little bit. My wife is real short and if this pad was maybe right around here, it would be more comfortable for her because she'd be able to uh, kind of lean back and rest on it whenever we're going. But as of right now, she kind of has to perch herself up in this area and drive it. But the back seat area, if we were able to move this back a little bit or at least forward a little bit, it would give you a little bit more room here as well. So part of me wants to swap these two cushions because you may be able to tell this cushion sticks out just a little bit more than this cushion, but then the bottom seat wouldn't line up or wouldn't match. And this cushion does not fit right here. You can see it's a much narrower cushion than this one. But yeah, we're real happy with this. This is very, very cool. Again, it's pretty much been completely refurbished. Of course, he threw on a charger with it as well so we can keep it maintained. What do you guys think? Again, we, we paid about less than one third the price for this than something new. If we would have gotten a new one with a similar battery configuration, not lithium ion, it still would have cost at least two to three times the cost of this. So I think at the end of the day, we uh, we got a good value on this and that's really what it's all about. I know a lot of folks think we just buy stuff out here on the, on the channel and just stuff and just spend as much money as we want, but we're always looking for a good deal. We're always looking for a bargain. If, uh, if it was always just spending as much as you can spend to get whatever you want, you know, just like everyone else, we'd be broke. So getting something like this that my wife enjoys, that she's happy with, that saved us quite a bit of money and will do what we want it to do out here, I think is the whole point of things. Anyways, let's hop inside of this thing, take it for a little ride, and then uh, we'll wrap the video up. Okay, here we go. Let's go up the hill. These tops creak and squeak no matter what you get them on. 
has a really smooth ride. Again, he put all new suspension on it, so didn't have to worry about that. But it's pretty cool. Even added a little battery gauge down here as well, which is right next to the ignition, or the power on button at least. Not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty nice. Very cool. Anyways, we're gonna take it back. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to our BTBRV Life channel. We'll talk to you again very soon.